My name is Gage Lease, and I'm reading from an F. Scott Fitzgerald story called Winter Dreams. And I read this story when I was 26. I was in the mid-50s. I was reported for the New York Times. And Fitzgerald was 26 when he wrote Winter Dreams. He, three years later, he wrote The Great Gatsby. And quite like Winter Dreams really fa f focuses in on Gatsby in many ways. The heroine of this story is a woman named Judy Jones. She's a young woman of the Midwest. She's the daughter of a very, very rich man. And the rich man had a caddy, and the caddy's name is Dexter Green. And um, Dexter Green meets this young woman, this unapproachable, this very rich, unobtainable woman. And he has fantasies about her from the time he saw her in the golf course to the time he saw her again when he got older and older and older. And later on, he went off to New York and went on Wall Street, and he never quite forgot her. He, she was never within his range of romance. She was never obtainable as a potential wife because he was poor and she was rich. In those days, that mattered very, very much. All of Fitzgerald's stories about that realm of being unreachable and rich. He goes to New York, and he does become rich himself. But he never quite forgot that woman, Judy Jones, that he knew from his youth and from his midlife. And one day in his office on Wall Street, a man visitor on business comes to his office and said, you know, I think I know somebody from your hometown, or my wife does, and she knows this woman named Judy Jones. And Dexter Green said, I know Judy Jones. Oh, and this man says, well, it's sort of sad. Dexter, what do you mean sad? Well, he, what happened to her? What happened to her? What she sort of... She married this man and he just mistreats her and drinks a lot and I, I, she deserved better. And Dexter Green listens at first with alarm and then with sadness. And then the man said, and she lost her looks. She was once a pretty, and Dexter, what do you mean pretty? She's beautiful. She was so utterly pretty. She's not pretty anymore. And, and the man said, well, you know, looks fade. And, She's okay, but she's not very pretty. And then he leaves, this visitor leaves the office. And in the final page of this, of this story, our hero looks out the window. I looked out the window of the New York skyline in which the sun was sinking in dull, lovely shades of pink and gold. He had thought that having nothing else to lose, he was invulnerable at last, but he knew that he had just lost something more. Just as surely as if he had married Judy Jones and seen her fade, seen her fade away before his eyes. It's a very telling, sad story of that period, of the period we know no more. I don't think we have winter dreams anymore. There's, there's in the time of Fitzgerald and the time of me as his reader when I was his age, 26. Oh, I remember 26.